if somebody offered you this apple and said it wasn't poison, would you eat it? I hope not, unless it's like somebody that you actually know. I mean, come on. Oh, hi. I'm Hair Jordan. This is my kitchen. This is episode one, Hair Jordan's Kitchen. I forget what we're doing. Let me go grab my list. Oh, hey, if you like this video, hit the like button because it helps my channel a lot. And why did I, why is my tripod shaking? What? Alright, so first thing we gotta do is melt some chocolate. So let's do that. I can't find my chocolate. Okay, so I like literally had all the stuff laid out for this video right here. And I had like a pound of white chocolate on the table that I bought. It's gone. Where's my chocolate? Yo, who took my chocolate? Did somebody seriously eat a pound of white chocolate? Or is it, did, did <sighs> Who eats a pound of white chocolate in one night? Are you kidding me? I'm not, this is not a bit. I'm not even joking. Who takes a pound of white chocolate that doesn't belong to them? Seriously. Who? Nobody's even here. It's just me. Yo, I found it. Look where it is. Here's the chocolate. I'm not saying I know who took it. I'm just saying that all the evidence points to- Alright, I can't blame my son for wanting to eat a pound of white chocolate. Anyways. Nice! First try! Okay, so we got our pan nice and hot. I don't actually know if you have to do that first or not, but here's the chocolate. I'm gonna start throwing it in there. Whoa. All right. Uh... Wow. <laughs> what? How the heck? I can't- I can't break it. This chocolate's really strong. Hang on. Oh no, it's burning. The pan's burning. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I gotta turn this off. It took too long. Dang. Oh, I can't break the chocolate. Yo, that's perfect. Don't worry. It landed right in the bucket, just like I wanted it to. And now everything's covered in this white chocolate powder. What the heck? I think we just wait. All right, so while that's melting, we can get the other part of the thing ready. Parchment paper, right? Is that it? That's it. Awesome. Come back over here. These Oreos, double stuffed. Lift. Oh man, my Oreos are all broken. What the heck? Ah, it's burning. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells. Oh. The chocolate's uh, it's supposed to be white chocolate. What am I doing? Let me set the camera down. Don't panic. That's the first rule. All right, craft sticks. They're actually just popsicle sticks. Oh, did I break all the Oreos? Got one. Ready? Let's try it. Uh, uh, this is not how it looked on the video. It's all burnt and stuff. It's okay. It's all, it's all gonna taste the same, right? Oh, it looks like the chocolate is starting to caramelize. Is that is that a thing? I don't think that's how it works, but... So anyways, I was only able to salvage enough white chocolate to make two of the Oreo cookie stick things. The rest of the chocolate is burned out of this whole pan. I got... Two. Yeah, sounds good. We'll just wait. Oh, hey, so I haven't mentioned this before, but I actually have some new merch. You can see it on the thing below the video. Just click right on it and get it. This is, this is what it looks like, real life. So the shirts look cool, but I was reading reviews on Teespring from other YouTubers who use it, and apparently, like, their cheap shirts are really, really bad. So I opted into the more expensive shirts, so that means I make a little bit less money. But the shirts are really nice. They don't feel like sandpaper on your skin, and they look amazing, and, and that's just a important to me like in real life look better not just on the photoshopped page on the store so if you're looking for a high quality shirt from a youtuber get mine because <sighs> just because <laughs> okay all right so while we wait for the chocolate to get hard I think this would be the perfect time for us to do the next one which is a poisoned apple So they use green chocolate, and I actually could not find green chocolate anywhere. But I had the white chocolate and green food dye, and I was just gonna make it green. But after seeing how the last one went, I think I'm not gonna try that. So I have a plan B. Green icing. Gotta wash the apples too, you know? Hey, I know this show is called Hair Jordan's Kitchen, but I gotta be honest with you. I kind of made a mess of the kitchen, and I need more space to work. So I'm gonna take this other one into the other room. I got water on my lens. Oh, man. Let me clean the water off. Better or worse? All right, here's our apples. Let's start. Oh, wow. Ugh. This one's crooked, poor guy. All right, so we got the Great Value brand. Oh, you can't even see. How did people do this? Should I do it again? You know what? You can read better than me, probably, so this is what we're working with. Just to be clear, there's actually no poison in this recipe, so if you're putting poison on the apple, you're doing it wrong. 
Oh, uh, my hand's gonna get so tired so fast. They make it look easy, but don't be fooled. Well, <laughs> here's what we got so far. I'm trying to make some eyes. Um, this looks kind of dumb. <laughs> I think I need to look at theirs and see what they were doing because I've been working on this for probably like five minutes and this is what I have it, uh, Not not so good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just rewatched the video and wow theirs look way different is that better No, all right. Well, this guy's a lost cause so I'm just gonna put him in the back you go in the back sir Sorry. Oh, you know what they got round apples. My apples aren't round. I got like the traditional looking ones That's probably part of it. Oh, man, whatever. Okay. It's definitely a lot easier with uh, when I cut the tip bigger But mine is really runny though. Theirs was runny, but just the right amount of running. The color's nice. I think I'm getting the hang of this. By the time I do all four of these, I think one of them is gonna look okay. My goal is to just do one that ends up looking good enough to make a thumbnail with. That's my goal. <laughs> oh no, he's drooping, he's drooping. Oh, his left eye is drooping, just like me. Also, like, it's so runny. He's all right. I mean, he's, he's not... Not the worst. That one's the worst. Sorry, dude. All right, let's try this one now. Yeah, not a bad start, huh? <laughs> New strategy, use it sparingly because it's all gonna start running down in a second. And I've been doing this for like 15 minutes and I only have three of them and none of them look good. Oh, I just ruined it. Oh, wait, maybe not. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm gonna set this one down and we'll see what it looks like after it's done running all over the place. Last one. So I think I'm getting the hang of this, and I think I know what I need to do. So what I'm doing, since it's being super runny, is I'm kind of leaving gaps and just like smearing it around. That's probably not how you're supposed to do it at all. Definitely a lot less precision with this method, but I feel like I have more control by using less, because I used more on that one and I kind of ruined it. I'm scared to mess with the mouth and the eyes, because that's gonna be really the part that either Makes it look good or not good. Oh, I got some right in the middle of his eye. Do you see that? Oh, shoot. I think this one is turning out the best. Oh, I'm pretty happy with this. <gasps> look at that, guys. I'm, I did it. <sighs> okay, I'm making it worse. Dang. Okay, now I'm just getting frosting everywhere. And then this is how this one turned out. <laughs> this guy just looked bad. He's kind of mutilated. And then I just gave up on this guy because, well, I'm pretty happy with this guy. Compared to the other three, this one actually looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, they're hard. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is cover them in green. We're going to make these into, like, Frankenstein monsters. I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these. It's not bad. So I'm going to cut them down. This looks like it'll be a good Frankenstein. Got a toothpick. So I ended up making this one into a Frankenstein, and then I thought, you know what, for the other one, why don't I just make him a body? It didn't turn out very good. Hey, does anyone want a poisoned apple? I mean, a regular apple? Okay, for this next one, I got some cookie dough. We're gonna be mixing it up and put in different colored food dye in it. So we just, let's do it. Put the wrong time. Dang it. 375. While that's heating. Mixing bowl. Uh, uh, uh. Butter. Soften the butter up. That should be long enough. Oh, we need an egg too. Come on, king. Can't do it with one hand. All right, get the egg. You have to be very careful with the egg, cause eggs break. Oh shoot! It's We're gonna burn the butter. Stop! 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 Nice. Now the egg. Oh hey, I did it. We stir the egg. That should be good. Let's get the cookie dough. Here we go. Ooh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Man, that looks awesome. It's got sprinkles in it. I'm gonna need both hands for this, so I'm gonna set you down, right? Man, this stove is getting hot. I should probably not be standing right over the preheating oven, but oh, the bowl's getting hot, too. <laughs> All right, we got it. So here's what we're gonna do. Get the cooking spray. I'm sure you probably need this. Oh, good, the, sto the oven's ready. Yeah, I got my hammer just in case, but we ended up not needing it, so that's good. Put some of this on here. We do four colors because we got four colors. Okay, so we got four colors here we're working with. I don't know how much to use, so. Purple, bloop, bloop, bloop. Orange, bloop, bloop, bloop. Green, bloop, bloop. And then this uh, pink or red or whatever. Bloop, bloop. There we go. I guess I just mix, mix, mix them. Probably gonna need both hands for this. So, see you in a minute. All right, here we go. So we got four colors, right? They don't look very Halloween-y. Halloween-y? <laughs> this is what we got. So now I'm gonna like mix them up and throw them in the oven. All right, there we go. Now they're ready to go in the oven. Awesome, we'll set the timer. Now we just wait. Right. 
Okay, so the cookies are done. Now it's time to pull them out of our extremely hot oven. Now that the cookies are done, we just have to wait a little bit and let them cool before we can put the frosting stitches on. I went ahead and finished up these apples. They actually look way better now. Oh, now that I got the hang of it. And the one that was really bad at first, I just did the back side of it. And I covered the tops and everything too. I just didn't film it. They do turn out really cool, but they take a long time to make. Now it's time to see how they taste. This is really good. To be honest, I like this more than I like caramel apple. Okay, so one thing I noticed about this stuff and using a toothpick is that spreading it doesn't work very well. So I just kind of get it all on one side and just like lay it on top. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, something like that. Now I just gotta do the rest of them. All right, and that's it. Did it. These turned out pretty cool. Some of them I messed up a little bit on, but uh, overall, this is a really cool idea. Super simple to just mix a couple different colors, add a couple stitches, and looks cool. Yeah, definitely recommend this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. It helps my channel a lot, and subscribe. And also, I don't have the merch with me, but it's over there. You see the link down there, though, so... Anyways, I will talk to you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.